Everybody, thanks for stopping by Who's Smoking. I am Kevin Who. Today, we are actually going to do a quick little tech day or tech moment to share some things that I just acquired and we'll be testing out here very shortly. And the first thing I'm going to start with is actually this. This is here the Thermopro TP27B. So I actually own a Thermoworks Signals unit, and that's one of these cool uh, kind of units that hook up to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It's got four probes, and it has the ability to run their Billows unit, which is this external fan. So if you have like a Kamado, you have a Weber Smoky Mountain or something like that, you can actually hook the fan up. And when it hits a certain target temperature, or if you tell it what target temperature to hit, it will actually run that fan and to help stoke that fire a little bit to keep your temps um, at whatever level you're asking for. So, I mean, it's pretty cool, but uh, one of the drawbacks of it is that, that particular unit is completely app dependent. So I run that over to my iPhone, so that means I have to launch the app every single time. So there's always kind of that given lag that comes with it. Sometimes the alerts come through, sometimes they don't. And so, uh, just given that kind of hit or miss nature of it, I did want to go back to something, or at least have the option to have something that has its own transmitter and receiver. And so when I looked at what Thermoworks had to offer, they have this other device now called the Smoke X, which is indeed a transmitter and a receiver, and it has the ability to go way farther than some of the like early generation stuff that we've all used and probably familiar with. But they're asking prices at least $170, I think, for the two-channel units. And I don't even know how the four, how much the four-channel units are. I can't even find them anymore. They're probably sold out or whatever. But anyhow, so Thermopro is like, in my mind, um, just a generic or knockoff version of what Thermoworks is. And I actually had one of their temperature probes, uh, these kind of flip-out pens, for a very long time. And truth be told, like, I've never had a problem with it. The readings might be a little bit slower. It might be just a tad off, when I say a tad, like maybe one degree, maybe. But I've ran my Thermopro products next to my Thermoworks products through smokes, checking great temperatures, ice baths, and they've all been spot on. So, I mean, I'm sure some folks out there, maybe professional cooks and chefs or whatnot, have run into some issues with Thermopro versus Thermoworks. But again, for my use, two to three times a week, Thermopro's been doing it. So anyhow, I picked up this guy right here. This comes with a transmitter and a receiver. And if you notice, I have readouts on both of them. And so this particular unit has not two, but four probes, four probes, four probes. And this is the stuff they send you. And this is what I mean. It's like, you get a lot for your money here. You got these four color coded probes that you can use as meat probes or ambient temp, great probes, whatnot, right? They got their own little clip kind of spooling case and then you've got the plug-in right here on the back side. They give you a couple of these great clips. Great clips! Great clips. And these are great clips. You can hook them up, right, to check your great temperatures. Quick little manual just to kind of walk you through it, but it's super simple. I mean, and here's a little stuff. This is the stuff that I really appreciate. So it's got like these kind of rubber pads right here so that when you have it on the table, they're not sliding around. And they even have it on the smaller unit too. It has these two parts. I really appreciate this. There's this little magnet right here too. So that when you have it on a, obviously a metal surface, it'll stick to it even better. I even pull the plastic off yet. But check this out, you see this? If I just touch that, the backlight comes on. Isn't that cool? Okay, um, so I've got these four fields right here. It's very simple. I can go through, mute the, the beeps on the main unit, or I can go silent. I can put in target temperatures right here on the top, oh, I'm hitting that light again. And then on the bottom two, I can actually put in a high and a low temperature as well. And so if I set a, a low temperature of, I don't know, 225 and a high temp of 275, because that's gonna be, say, my, my pit temperature, the temperatures will slowly climb, the alarm won't keep going off if it's at 150, 175, until after it hits the 225 threshold, then it'll start monitoring and making sure it's actually kept between those two parameters down here. So that's pretty cool. And another thing that I really like about this thing is in addition to having a little belt clip right here and you can prop out the bottom and make it, can you see this? Make it a stand. And I really like that backlight feature, but it's getting kind of annoying for this particular purpose. But anywho, I still like it. But in addition to just being, what is this? 500 feet away, you can have this thing up to a 500 foot range. You can also change the way it alerts you. So it's not just 
the beeping, which I have found to be somewhat annoying. But you can also do a beep and a vibration, just a vibration, or I'm not sure why you want to, but just completely silence it out. So if you look at all of this stuff, you're thinking, okay, so I'm getting four probes, I'm getting a solid transmitter and a receiver, um, a backlight button that just is really sensitive. And you know, I'm getting all of this stuff. What is it cost in comparison to the $170, $200 threshold that Thermalworks is charging? Um, the answer is half the price. So I got all of this stuff, I believe, for 80 bucks from Amazon. That link will be in, um, in the description below if you want to check this stuff out as well. Again, I haven't used it because I've used a couple of Thermopro, no, I take that back. I, I have four Thermopro products. I have two uh, transmitters, older transmitters, I think the TP28 or, or whatever it is. I have a couple of those. I have a couple of their, um, I don't know, I'll say, I'm gonna say Thermopen, thermometer pens. And again, barring actually one particular time when I completely destroyed it and dropped it and all other stuff. They've been rock solid. So anyhow, that's that's this. If you are interested in it, again, check it out. I'm not sure what other reviews are out there. I haven't looked. I just saw it on Amazon. Thought it'd be great. Want to give it a shot. And I did pick up one of their newer looking uh, pen thermometers. From what I've seen, it's very comparable <laughs> to what I'm using right now. What is this? Oh, cool. Sorry, I literally just unboxed this thing. Nice. Okay. It's not as smooth as my thermo pen, but I'm sure it'll do the job. Anyhow, thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, if you want me to try anything out in particular on these two units, feel free to leave that in the comments for me, and I will do my best to get either a direct response out to you, or maybe even put another video together, show you guys all of this stuff in action. Uh, until next time, y'all. Who's smoking? <laughs>